infinite realities does not mean infinite possibilities. I need to say this because, one, of course, boilerplate, many franchises and movies are vacuuming the life out of interdimensional travel. More compellingly, two, it's pretty interesting how our advancement of social media, AI, and XR is paralleling our fascination with many realities, many worlds. We essentially generate new realities through social media, AI, and XR. For example, social media has allowed people to invent fake personas and stories for likes, requires viewers to have a meta-analysis and persona separate from their real selves, and also seems to sell the idea of infinite mass-generated content, such as with infinite universes. Fascinating. Well, scary since newer generations will really have to get comfortable discerning reality, but I don't know, maybe it will make them smarter than us because they'll always be questioning everything and building internal logic since they can't rely on external structures anymore. But maybe we won't even get to that point. Uh, anyways, everyone loves to talk about the monkey typewriter thought experiment. Essentially, you put an immortal monkey to a typewriter, have it type, and give it infinite time. It will eventually type out every possible word, sentence, thought, from Shakespeare to your aunt's radical tweets. Now, this seems to be right, but Sorry to say, Bobo, I don't think you type out everything. People often leave out the fact that the monkey typewriter theorem states, almost surely. Think about it this way. How many numbers are there from 0 to 1? Infinity. How many numbers are there from 0 to 10? Also infinity. There are infinite numbers from 0 to 1, but that set of numbers doesn't contain 2. There are infinite numbers from 0 to 10, but that set doesn't contain 11. Maybe Bobo gets a fascination with B-A-N-S and ends up typing Frankensteinian malformed and wholesale bananas for the rest of its life. The almost surely in the theorem means that a specific substring, for example, you are cool and people like you, may never get typed. Now, what if the infinite amount of worlds only ranged from zero to one? There may not be a world out there where you become the hero, become the villain, fall in love with them, lose a loved one, fail, succeed, make that mistake, get that opportunity, etc. Spoilers for Invincible, skip to here if you don't want to hear. There's actually a good reason why there are more evil marks than good marks. Infinite Worlds doesn't guarantee a 50-50 good-evil split. So even if there are infinite realities, dimensions, worlds, it doesn't mean that every possibility could happen. Honestly, this can be kind of a bummer since even I dream of other realities to stay happy. Again, it's possible that if there are infinite realities, that your perfect reality does exist. It's possible that your worst nightmares may never exist. My point is to counter the notion that what you do in this reality doesn't matter when there are so many other realities. Even if you hate this life and world, you must still try. Even if you end up failing, you must still try. Because you never know. Maybe this really is the only you. At the end here, maybe I'm wrong, maybe there are details I'm missing, such as some interpretation of the many worlds interpretation, but very often we build our lives off of assumptions and axioms that may end up being false. Nevertheless, it doesn't mean that the results or what we learn from our beliefs are worth nothing. A replica of the truth may still have some aspects of the truth. Basically, I'm just using a lot of fancy words to cover my bases if I'm wrong, but if you disagree, or if there's something I missed, let me know down below. Cheers!